Hello everyone, Mr. Browning M1911 here. Continuation video 2 of the Tier 2 IFAC systems. Here I have another what looks like a military issue 1980s style uh, personal first aid kit. However, this is not a military issue. This is actually a civilian version of the military's personal first aid kit. As you can see here, you got the pouch, you got the inner box, and I will show you here with the military one. As you can see, the military one is a little bit higher than this one here. Inside this one here, I'll open up here, and here I have some loose gloves. In one of my earlier videos, I stated I like to put my uh, gloves in plastic bags, but I just left these gloves the way they are. In here, I have three afterbite sting release. I'd like to also apologize. I do have cats around here, so if you hear any cats, that's going to happen. Oops. Have here small roll of tape. One roller gauze. This one is very tightly packed. Two sterile iPads. One field dressing and one muslin triangular bandage. Also have in here one pill bottle. However, there are no pills in here at this time, but what I do have in here or two ammonia inhalants. I have one, two, three, four, one point five by two inch gauze sterile pads and one two inch by two inch nonstick sterile pad. And here I have four alcohol prep pads, three provodone iodine prep pads, three antiseptic towelettes, and then three regular towelettes. And then one giant four by four pad, sterile sponge pad. Four butterfly closures. And then three knuckle bandages. And this is what's in one of my other personal first aid kits. And you can clearly see the uh, tag that's inside there indicating where this kit was made. So this is not an actual military kit but it works for its purpose. This is Mr. Browning M1911 out.